Hello again, everybody. This is Jeff of the Game Capital. Today we're opening up 39 booster packs of the brand new Card Fight Vanguard set, Violist Deletor. It features Link Joker and the other four clans uh, are all the ones that appeared in the set BT02, Team AL4, which namely also includes Shadow Paladin. Um, as you can probably tell by playmat and stuff, this is, um, well, minus one playmat that I don't have right here as well. Uh, this is basically what you would get in a full sneak preview box uh, for the new set. Uh, the set's release is next week, Friday. Uh, that'd be, what, the 22nd? Uh, we have sneak preview events this weekend in store. You can join us at either 5 p.m. on Friday or 2 p.m. on Sunday if you're in the area for a sneak preview event. And you can get your hands on these cards uh, then. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until next week, Friday, when these set fully releases. Um, anything we get in this video will be made as singles, either in our store and or on our website, thegamecapital.com. Um, if they are on the website or in-store, they'll be pre-order only. They basically can't be put into customers' hands uh, until the release date next week, Friday. So, all those, full disclosure, I've made that out of the way. I'll show you some stuff here. I also just want to mention, uh, if you aren't already, please head over to twitch.tv slash thegamecapital and drop us a follow on there. I'm streaming at least three days a week, usually Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and usually at least one additional time thereafter uh, beyond those three times. I usually start, probably going to push it back a little bit, start between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern typically, and usually go at least two or three hours, mostly with Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Maybe I'll have some Vanguard openings on there at some point. Uh, we do some Pokemon openings here and there as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more content from me, make sure you're also following us on twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. So this is the sneak preview promo. It is a Link Joker grade two. Auto on the rear guard when placed. Cost is a counter blast of one. This unit gets plus 4,000 until end of turn for each of your opponent's open rear guard circles. So, in the event they have only the Vanguard, they would have five open rear guard circles. That'd be plus 20,000 attack for the turn then. So, it could get pretty beefy. Pretty beefy. Uh, so, you get nine of those in a preview kit. The kit supports eight players. So, that's a participation promo. There's one extra promo that's, you know, for the judge or the store or extra one for first. However you want to do it, it's kind of at your discretion. So, these would be basically, like, the prize packs of the kit. You get... Eight bundles of four packs, and there's seven additional packs. Um, Bush Road sets it up for the sneak peeks. They're designed as an eight person event, single elimination, win a round, win a pack. So, in the first round, there's eight people, four people win, there's four packs. Next round, you have four people, two will win, there's two packs. Then you have the finals, one will win, there's a the pack. So, that's how um, they are set up to run, um, but it's it's not like a set requirement, but sure that you do it by those exact guidelines either. So just FYI, that is how things are set up. And let's see. I don't have scissors by me, so that's, that's fantastic. But we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We, we can rip packs. We can rip packs. I won't show every card every pack. First few cut packs, we will, just because these are all brand new to me. I'm not going to read everything. Um, even for like the grade twos, or sorry, the double rares and above, I might not read them all. But I'll probably at least like bring them close so you guys can read them if it focuses for me at least. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> and if I do sound a little off, I am under the weather. I'm recovering. But uh, hopefully all is good enough. Uh, we got Stealth, Dragon, Maduro, Pyro, Direful, oh God, <laughs> Mengaza, Stealth, Rogue, Sukarak, Tricky Assistant, Dark Side Trumpeter, Barking Dragon Tamer. And Double Rare Dark Metal Dragon of Shadow Paladin Grade 3. Let's see. So I'm really close. I can tap the screen that focuses it. So there you go. Pause. Read your leisure if you wish. And that's probably about as long as I'll do it for. Just so you guys have the option. So Double Rare. And now this is 39 packs. A bush box contains 16 packs. So it's about the equivalent of two and a half booster boxes. So... We are kind of hoping to find at least two VRs and one SVR. I know this set also has the leader rares, I believe, and they're DRs and um, SDRs, I think. But I didn't see any of those online when I looked last, so I don't know what the pull rates are of those or anything about them, really, other than they exist. So if we find one, we'll maybe learn a little bit more. Maybe. Maybe. But we shall see. We shall see. <clears throat> 
Lemate. These words are hard. Code Dragon. Authority of Water. Barbarous Chimera. Cuticle Breaker Pavla. Howl Owl. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Got something coming up. Dark Soul Conductor Rare. And VR. Gun Salute Dragon. End of Stage. That is a Pale Moon Grade 3 Van Guard Rare. Being a VR, we'll read it. So the auto on the Vanguard Circle. Once per turn, at the end of the battle it attacked. If your soul has zero cards, cost, put two cards from your hand and all of your rear guards into your soul and stand this unit. So probably not something you want to do a ton, but for like a final push, could be good, could be good. Um, when, And also Vanguard, when placed by riding from a grade three, soul blast all of the cards from your soul until end of turn. This unit gets plus 5,000. And your opponent cannot call Sentinels from hand for the battle that this unit attacked. So you can really beef them up with that. And if you do both in the same turn, um, you can be hitting pretty hard twice. And uh, they can't use Sentinels. So that could be a hard card to block uh, in your final push going for game. Could be very beefy and very scary to try to block twice. That got that coming at you. Manabow. End of Beast Tamer. Soul Bow. Jamming Impeter. Dark Side Trumpeter. Oh dear. Yeah, the, the rare always sticks to like the last common. So it's kind of hard to just like pan through. Shadow Blaze, Dragon Rare, and then Double Rare. Hailing the Leader Alba. Hailing the Leader Alba. And there you go if you want to read what that one does. So after four of the quote-unquote prize packs, we've already gotten a VR and two double rares. I don't know if they have a, any sort of real, if they like seed things in a special way, make the prize packs better, or guarantee a certain kind of rarity from each bundle of four or anything like that on average. But here comes another double rare. Penetrate, penetrate the leader Iggy and double rare Master of Fifth Element. Of the Dark Irregulators. 12k grade 3. When it attacks, if your soul has 15 or more cards, put all the cards from your hand and soul into your drop zone and stand all of your units. Oof. Stand all of your units. Sounds like a final turn kind of push right there. <clears throat> Productive Witch Naness. Refusal Mage Bregus. Stealth Beast White Mane, Brassy Bunny, Death Feather Eagle, Stealth Dragon Hitsumetsu Blazer, and Triple Rare, Opener of Dark Gates. That is a re... Well, a lot of these are reprints from back in the day, but that's a card I remember the name of. I actually was just looking up a promo version of that card not just a couple days ago. So Opener of the Gates, Triple Rare. That one's a little bit longer, so I'll get you guys read that at your leisure as well. Trying to make this video too insanely long. And we're already over eight minutes here, so... Yano. Know, Yano. You know. Brazen Deleter Gugai. Cuticle Killer Mirachi. Awful Nail. Stealth Dragon Raikou Slug. Not the Pokemon, though. Abyss Healer. Rare Nightmare Doll Rhoda. And... Another rare? Yep. Gravity Ball Dragon. So only two of the seven prize packs had double um, single rares. And the other five all had double rare or better. So now I got eight bundles. Eight bundles. <clears throat> and I think I'll start reading names now. Let's see. Is this not just slide off? Oh, I haven't had to do this in quite a while. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, well, can I saw like one pack out from the middle? And then it's easier after that. Yeah, hacks. Them's the hacks. All right. I'm just going to kind of go ahead and do that to a few of these right away, I think. There's one. There's one. Do it to half the stack right away. Face down. Face up. All right. Got half. Now let's show you some more cards, shall we? Let's show you some more cards, shall we? Because that's what we're here to do. See cards. 
we want to see all of the new and pretty and awesome and amazing things. So now let's kind of page through the comments, let you guys get a glance at them, because these might be new to a lot of you guys still. And we got double rare pack, double rare pack. We'll keep on going, keep on going. Yeah, our online selection on thegamecapital.com will probably be increasing in the short term. I've got a bunch of stuff in store i got to go through and process. Um, some will go in our display case, some will be like overstock for the store that will definitely go on the website because uh, I don't plan to sell more than a certain number of copies of most things in store. But there we got the Shadow Paladin Vanguard Rare Gust Blaster Dragon. For, both from Vanguard Circle and Autos. When it attacks, counter blast one and retire two rear guards. Draw a card. Your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, retires it, and this unit gets plus 10,000 until end of turn. When your rear guard is retired, if your soul has a grade three with blaster in its name, this unit gets plus one critical until end of turn. So now please correct me if I'm wrong, but I assume for the first one, you retire two rear guards. That means on the second one, if you have a grade three with blaster in the soul, you would get plus two critical because you retire two rear guards. So you can make this have three critical and 23k base for the cost of a counter blast and retiring two rear guards. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Very nice looking dragon there as well. Gust Blaster Dragon. So that's already two Vanguard rares, one triple rare, and three double rares. Not bad at all. But yeah, I was saying. We'll probably be getting a lot of singles stocked on thegamecapital.com within the next week or so. And I'll probably be doing a case opening of this set as well. Probably on video for you guys. Uh, we'll go a lot quicker, like on a per-back basis, and I might have some helpers for that so it goes quicker as well. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. There's our double rare Stealth Fiend Marote Surveillant of Murakumo. And I might also be opening up um, some other sets as well. So... I think we'll have a pretty good selection of standard stuff on the game capital.com um, in the coming little bit here. So keep an eye out for that. And if you are local, if there's anything you need, uh, definitely hit me up. I don't know if I'll keep all the highest rate stuff in the display case or I'll just like have it online and in the display case. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But if you are local, there's anything special you need from any of the standard sets currently out or this set, uh, let me know. And uh, I'll do my best to make arrangements with you to make sure that you can secure that stuff from us. So yeah, just let me know. Just let me know. Yeah, the, the main things you won't see much of anything of from us on the website or in store is EB03 and possibly EB04. EB03, as I'm sure a lot of you know, um, was sold out out of print real quick. So we were not able to restock that and never really got to open any of it for the store either, so... But there we've got another triple rare Schwarzschild Dragon of Link Joker. And I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. I should be able to pronounce it right. It looks kind of like Weiss Schwartz. Child. The child of Weiss Schwartz of Link Joker. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, triple rare. There you go. Read that at your leisure if you so choose. I'm trying to only read the uh, Vanguard rares or higher. Just if you haven't realized that yet. That's, that's what my... What my goal or plan or expectation of myself is. Because I don't want this to be over 30 minutes. It might be that way regardless. But we'll see. We'll see. Getting lots of Howl Owls. Rare and rare. Double rare. Well, it's confusing to say because there are double rares in the set. But you can also get double rares in a pack as in two single R's. Guess I gotta choose my verbiage more carefully to make it more clear. I guess. Visible Sonster and Dancing Princess of the Night Sky. Double rare. Double rare. So that's five doubles, two triples, and two VRs. Well, I guess I've been two and a half boxes. I was hoping for about two VRs and maybe an SVR. So, so far, so good. Maybe we'll get an OR or something in here as well. Time will tell. Time will tell. We've still got... Oof, Four, five, six, sixteen 16 packs. We still have a booster box worth. We still have a full booster box worth of packs. So that means we're actually over halfway done, I guess. So I guess we can be under 30 minutes. Got another higher rarity here. We got triple rare Dark Irregulars, 
Dimensional Creeper. Look at that creeper. That's pretty cool art, really. Got the little hands in there as well. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Going the orthodox way is an excuse for those less skilled. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Triple rare number three. Two Link Joker and a Darky Regulars. And our VRs, Shadow Paladin and Pale Moon. Not too bad. Not too bad. As I struggle to rip this pack open, not wanting to damage the contents, of course. Because that's never a good thing. Never a good thing if that happens. Just kind of fully skipping the commons now at this point. Hopefully you guys don't mind. There's another double rare. Apocalypse Bat of Shadow Paladin. When placed, you may call a card from your soul to rear. You may call an Apocalypse Bat from your soul to rear. Which, okay, when it's rear guard. So it's got more versatility if it's your Vanguard ride. But not going to be very good because it's a Vanguard... Uh, that means you're probably calling your starting vanguard to rear guard, which probably isn't super awesome relevant. Though it just gives you extra fodder to discard with other card effects, so not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. But yeah, I'm not familiar enough with the, what there all is in this set currently and stuff. So like, I have no idea if that's a card they'll actually see play in Shadow Paladin decks at all. But ooh. Got something shiny, something shiny coming here. What we got? What we got? Another Howl Owl. Nightmare Doll Edith. And Triple Rare Fantasy Petal Storm Shirayaki. Shirayuki, excuse me, excuse me. I think, I think I remember that card back in the day. Very different art, if I'm right. But I think I remember that card. When plays, choose three units from your opponent's front row. Think about, yep, that sounds familiar. Yep, that's the card I'm thinking of. But there you go. I'll freeze your dying breaths, stealth arts. White out! Two VRs, four triple rares, and six double rares. We got 12. Oh, I can't math. Six. We had 24 packs left. I said we had a box left. That's a box worth right there, 16 packs. And I've got four packs over here. So, yeah, there's, there's still time to find SVRs or better, or another VR is good too. There's Dueling Dragon Knight Zengeki. Zangeki, Vanguard Rare, Murakumo, Vanguard Abilities. If Left Arrester is in your front row, this unit gets plus 5,000. If Right Arrester is in your front row, it gets plus one critical. If your soul has a card with Dueling Dragon in its name, your opponent can only call grade zero cards from your hand to the Guardian Circle. So if you've got both Arresters in the front, you've got a 17k with two criticals, and if you've got Dueling Dragon in the soul, your opponent can only grade guard with grade zeros. So that's our third Vanguard Rare. So given that we have three VRs and no um, Deleter Rares so far, I'm going to assume that the Deleter Rares are harder to pull than the Vanguard Rares. I would love to see one because I was looking online. I didn't see any yet. Um, so I don't know what they look like yet. But yeah, Magician of Quantum Mechanics, double rare. That finishes my open pack of sleeves. Let's get another pack of sleeves cracked open right quick here. Yeah? And we can continue right along with a very minor interruption. All right. Well, now, a less minor interruption will be getting those last 16 packs unsleeved from the little, little plastic holding there, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Ill Fate Deleter Drown and Hailing Deleter Elro of Link. Joker. Any idea when we might see more Spike Brothers support? That's always been my clan. I've always been a Spike Brothers lifer. Back in the OG days and in the present days. I, I personally have not built a deck since Spike Brothers. I have a, van, I have a uh, Kagero deck built using just BT01 and the Trial deck. And, uh, and I've got Spike Brothers built. That's all I have personally built. I don't get to play that often. Um, sometimes... I'll join in and play sometimes when they have an odd number or something, but yeah, yeah. He's on sleeved. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. What is your clan of choice overall? It doesn't have to be like what clan you're using today, but rather it's just over the lifespan so far of Vanguard, what has been your favorite clan to play? Let me know in the comments below. Curious to see your guys' opinions and personal preferences. 
Always fun to see what your guys' thoughts are. So there we go. 14 or 16 more packs. Let's we'll go like that. In case you guys care to realize when I go to each different bundle of four. If you're tracking what each bundle has. Maybe there is a bundle that will have nothing better than a double rare in it. I don't know. I haven't paying that much attention to that regard. But how many Howl Owls are we going to pull? My goodness. My goodness. Triple rare. Lie down, deleter. Given. Link Joker. That's our third Link Joker triple rare. Wow. Wow. And there is the ability and the flavor text if you wish to read that grade two. So I already got something better than double rare from this bundle. From this bundle. <clears throat> Next up, we've got Shadow Blaze Dragon. And Stealth Dragon hits Sumetsu Blazer. I probably missed a letter or a syllable or something in there. It's these words, man, they're so long. They're so much longer than Pokemon names. So difficult. I'm just used to saying Pokemon names. They're so much shorter and more repetitive. Hailing Deleter Elba. I think that's our first duplicate of anything higher than a rare. I think. I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our ninth double rare. There's what, 12 double rares in the set, I believe? Probably says in the back right here, actually. Oh, yeah. And here it says shows everything. So, Vanguard rare, five types. Triple rare, eight types. Double rare, 12. Yada, yada, yada. Hmm. It doesn't actually mention deleter. Oh. There we go. Vilest Deleter Rare, seven types. I thought there was DR and VDR, but perhaps I am wrong. That's why I saw in TG Player at least, but perhaps I'm mistaken. Maybe the Vilest Deleters are like one or two per case or something. I don't know. I don't know. Two special reissue. Um, those are SP's versions, I believe, of Blaster Dark and Maclear, I believe. I believe. Five ORs. Oh, there. DR. Five Delete Rare. So yes, 5DR and 7VDR, 5SVR. So there's, I think all the VRs are also DRs. All the SVRs are also VDRs, plus two. Maybe the two special reissue ones are also VDRs. I should have known that before starting the video, but if any of you know the full details or can clarify that, feel free to enlighten us all in the comments. Always appreciate Always appreciate Next up, we've got Dark Metal Dragon, a double rare of Shadow Paladin. That is also a duplicate double rare. But uh, this, this bundle of four packs, triple rare and two double rares. I'm predicting two single rares in this pack. I feel like that's be one dud in the bundle of four, right? Nope. <laughs> Another double rare. Another double rare. Nightmare Doll Edith and Stealth Fiend Midnight Crow. Double rare. First one of those, I think. First one of those, I believe. Oh, actually, I took a pack from this deck at some point. So, there must be a double rare in there at some point. My bad. My B. Oh, oh, oh. What we got? Another triple rare. Black Winged Swordbreaker of Shadow Paladin. Triple rare of Shadow Paladin. I won't cheer up until you break. Ooh, she's, she's evil. Grade 1, 5k. Yeah, Shadow Paladins, they, they get some low power stuff. Um, but they're usually pretty helpful things, like Skull Witch Nemain. That's... Is that a 5k as well? It's not, I don't think it's 3k. I know it's low. I know it's low. But it's a card you play, because it's good. You just don't want it as your Vanguard, generally. That's generally not the desired play. Not the desired outcome. But you're going to be playing that card. Unless something in this set trumps and replaces that or something. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. It's like another double rare upcoming. Master of Fifth Element once more. Second one of that. But I think we've got ten different double rares. Ten different double rares. Hopefully we can find an SVR. Or an OR. Or a signed card. Something higher than a VR. I'll take a DR. Just something different. Something different. Single rare. That's actually our first... Well, this is probably the only P guard in the set, actually. Probably the only Sentinel that's a uh, draw trigger. The Link Joker one. Flowers in Vacuum. Cosmo Wreath. The Link Joker Sentinel. So that, I believe, is 11 different double rares. 11 different 
double rares. And we got another double rare. Another double rare. And actually, I don't think that's one we have either. So I think that's all the double rares now. Demonic Hair, Stealth Rogue, Grenjin. Not Greninja from Pokemon, but close to it, Grenjin. Grenjin double rare. So yeah, one, two, that's a dupe. Those are dupes. So if I'm not missing duplicates, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven plus three dupes. So I think we're missing one double rare. Missing one double rare. And no, I do not know what that double rare is. Maybe we'll find out by the time we're done with these last six packs, including the one I just ripped. Oh, this is better than double rare. It is a triple rare. Miss direction. Miss direction. <laughs> triple rare of Pale Moon. 9K grade two. Nice. So we're going to find an SVR better. Five packs left. Gonna have to find it pretty quick. Time is running out. Penetrate the leader, Eggy, single rare. All right. Last bundle here of four packs. Last bundle of four packs. Gravity Ball Dragon, Shadow Blaze Dragon. Double dragons, but single rares. Ah, it's a double rare. I think what we need too. Yes, Flirtatious Succubus. That is the double rare we were missing. Wasn't that a promo back in the day? I think that was a promo originally. Back in the day, like not the current standard era. I think. I don't like to have it just end there. I don't like to have it. Oh, I put like a comma where there isn't one. I don't like to have it just end there. Is the flavor text. So we've gotten 15 double rares, including all 12 different. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So far, this bundle of four has had double single rares twice and a double rare. So I feel like this pack has to have at least a triple rare. I think it's going to have an SVR. I'm calling SVR right here. It's the last pack. Last chance for glory. What's it going to be? We've got protect, Productive Witch Nines, Tricky Assistant, Cuticle Assassin Sabina, Howl Owl, Barking Dragon Tamer. Oh, that's a single rare. That's a single rare Stealthine Jakatsu Girl, but there's still another card. It's an SVR. We called it Gust Blaster Dragon Shadow Paladin. Let's go. Saving the best for last. That's a beautiful card right there, folks. That is a gorgeous card. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, man. That is nice. That is a nice way to end it. That is a nice way to end it. So, very quick, very quick recap for you guys. We got 15 double rares. We got duplicates of these three. And then we've got all 12 different, unless I have duplicates in here and I missed something, but then we got the whole set, the whole set of double rares, which is pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Triple rares. I think we had one, no, no duplicates. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven triple rares. So we're only missing one triple rare from the set. We've got three of the five different Vanguard rares and we end the opening on that gorgeous SVR to go with the VR version of it as well. Very nice, very nice. Hopefully you all enjoyed that opening. If you did and you haven't already, please subscribe, rock smash that like button, visit thegamecapital.com for your car fight Vanguard needs, your Pokemon, your Yu-Gi-Oh, your Magic, we've got it all. A lot more Matt car fight coming on there very soon. Um, when this video goes live, we'll have very, very, very little on there. That is going to change very, very soon. And please, if you're not already, Join me over as well at twitch.tv slash the game capital, especially if you're a fan of Pokemon and Pokemon trading card game online. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more awesome goodness of something. We'll see. Next time, everybody.